Recently, I returned to a movie that made me want to sewer slide before. I'm talking about Tar. Now, I wanted to go ahead and return to this film because I thought maybe people were right. It's possible I was misinterpreting some various things in the film, and maybe that my single watch through just wasn't enough. However, upon returning, I am still just in the same place that I was at the beginning, and on top of that, I'm actually probably more so into the way that this is a terrible film film. Now a quick recap for those who don't know what Tar is, basically Tar is a film that follows Lydia Tar, a composer who is very well renowned and well known. This film <clears throat> is very dialogue heavy and overall has some background pieces that kind of loom and are never outwardly directly spoken. However, throughout the film there are plenty of twists and turns that should keep you interested. However, the film manages to be as boring as it possibly fucking could be. For example, there is like a scene where Lydia is on this interview and it is basically a 30 minute exposition about how famous and amazing this woman is at being a composer. And all I'm trying to say is, listen, I believe you. She's a composer. She's well renowned. Move the fuck on. And finally, about an hour and 10 minutes into the film, you get into the more intriguing part, which is the fact that Lydia is extremely abusive and constantly jumps from person to person to use for sex and what she feels is love. Throughout the movie, there's a bunch of shit about music, which me as a music nerd should be able to appreciate. However, again, I was still found just bored throughout this entire film. Even the music type shit that they play into it is so basic and repetitive that I'd rather just fucking bang my head into a wall. And this is the problem with this entire film, is it thinks that it has some really deep plot, and overall there are some bits to it which are quite good. However, when it comes to putting it actually on camera, the director lacks any type of intrigue or lacks any type of interesting chemistry on screen that will keep anybody invested. Lydia is never really felt like a real character, and they switch between whether you should feel good for her bad for her or like question of whether she's a terrible person until the end where she is clearly the villain however it still kind of shows her in a somewhat sympathetic light showing her break down and go into madness but really it was all from her own terrible actions and the way that she treated people and so she doesn't deserve any type of uh, fucking remorse or anything like that and the movie shouldn't have been so lax on the way that it kind of portrays her towards the end. On top of this, other characters around her are shown to be pawns of Lydia, however, all of them never really feel like they have any depth to them and or their own even motivations. Overall, everybody is kind of just fucking depressed or insane to be depressed or insane, and then we when we talk about why they are the way they are, we get a little tidbit of information that seems interesting, and then it just goes to the wayside most of the time. And on top of this, we have all of these various things, and Lydia, like, basically ends up just fine. At the end, it's played off as a joke as she composes for a video game to a bunch of cosplayers. And it was a very large audience in a pretty solid theater. And for the most part, this would be an okay ending if I didn't feel like the director thought it was a legitimate kind of laugh. At the end of the day, if the director realized the absurdity of the film itself and overall was able to go in and, and see here that, oh, this is a terrible person who doesn't deserve any th sympathy, but is constantly given sympathy by those around her because of her power status and then ended up just fine that would be far more interesting and say a lot more about this type of person in situation than the film that we got was the film that we got was boring condescending and just pretentious as all fucking hell and it could have just gotten rid of some of its more heady aspects that it was trying to be and just been the straightforward story that it was just give us the details show it in action and don't try to do all this extra bullshit to make it a psychological thriller drama it would have been much better as just a thriller or a thriller drama or psychological thriller but don't add them all together in this way because it just doesn't fucking work 
So, what do you guys think? Do you think Tar is good? Do you think it is bad? Do you think that it is pretentious, that it condescends to its audience? Or do you think that it's one of the best movies that you've seen in your entire fucking life? Uh, also, let us know why any of those things down in the comments below. And besides that, uh, I will see you all in the next video tomorrow. Just to open up a newer car